All right. Here's another AI in five that's going to help you save hours a week by spending less time in Google. All right. My name is Jordan Wilson. I'm the host of Everyday AI. We are a daily live stream podcast and newsletter helping everyday people like you and me learn and leverage AI. So let's learn and leverage some AI. All right. So let's dive into it. Now, you might be asking, why would you replace Google? Well, there's a couple of reasons. One, it's not always the best. There's a lot of ads. There's a lot of spam. There's a lot of pop-ups. All of these things waste your time and my time. So I'm going to give a real example of a problem that we're facing at Everyday AI. So we have a great free daily newsletter. So again, go to youreverydayai.com, sign up and check it out. But we're having some problems. We actually love MailChimp, but there's a lot of shortcomings. So we're trying to see if there's a better platform for us. So Here's what it would normally look like. I would start with a, a Google search like MailChimp alternatives. I would probably read a lot of these, but you'll see there's a lot of ads. And then even when you get a decent, uh, a decent um, article to read, something like that, there's a lot of affiliate links. So people are really pushing one thing. So normally you'd start with some with a search something like MailChimp alternatives, and then you'd probably search again you know, cause I actually did this and it's like, all right, these are all old. And then I said, MailChimp alternatives, 2023. Um, and then I'll probably Google again, once I find some, uh, you know, better, uh, results. And I might say something like newest email newsletter providers, 2023, because a lot of the ones we're using are archaic, they're slow and they don't have good features. So then what, what usually happen is I would spend 15 to 20 minutes reading ar this article. And then I'd spend 15 to 20 minutes reading this article and taking notes. And I'd spend 10 to 15 minutes reading this article. And they're long articles and great, great content. So why not just use ChatGPT instead, right? So here, let me share what that looks like. So this is obviously going to work best if you're on the paid version. I have another AI in five uh, video that says why you probably need the paid version, but essentially, I'm saying, what are the best MailChimp alternatives for 2023? And then I'm giving some background. So instead of having three, four, 10 different Google searches, if I can do one or two good chats in ChatGPT, that'll probably help. So if I have enabled the correct enabled plugins, which are some web browsing plugins, I'm going to get some good results. And I have one follow-up, and then I drop the, the links to some of those specific um, articles that I read. So I always like to start general, see what ChatGPT comes with, and then have a follow-up and give it more information. And then in the end, I also ask for it to be in a tab format to tell the pros and cons of each of these different uh, newsletter providers, as well as what how it compares to MailChimp. So by doing that, I get something simple like this. It's easy to digest. No ads, no affiliate links, no annoying pop-ups. And I have a very easy to read you know, seven alternatives to MailChimp's, uh, to MailChimp, their pros and the cons, and then specifically how it compares to MailChimp. So it sounds easy enough. It sounds simple and it is, but let me recap why you should be doing this. Normally one Google search turns into many Google search five, six, seven, and then all of a sudden you're down a rabbit hole reading or looking up something that didn't matter to your original query anyways. Um, and then also on each of those articles, you're usually spending five, 10, 30 minutes reading it, taking notes, and then also a lot of times Googling or looking up other information. So when you do this all inside of ChatGPT, it's usually faster and more accurate. And this is a great way to start learning to use ChatGPT for research and analysis. So maybe you don't have a great use case for ChatGPT right now, but in my opinion, this is one of the strongest because one, sometimes Googling things are annoying because of all those ads and, you, you know, sponsored posts, you know, you'll read a whole article and someone will say, oh, this is the best newsletter provider. And you just figure out at the bottom, oh, it's because that company is paying him to do that. That can be really annoying. So using ChatGPT in this manner um, and providing it with multiple sources is a great way to get a hopefully unbiased uh, view of what you're actually getting after. So I hope that is helpful. Today's AI in five. If you found it helpful, 
uh, subscribe or follow us and leave us a comment on what you'd like to see. So as a reminder, go to youreverydayai.com, sign up for our free daily newsletter, listen to our podcast on Spotify or Apple, or join our live stream, uh, live stream every weekday morning, 7.30 a.m. Central Standard Time and ask questions of our guests. So I hope to see you back with some more AI in five. Thanks.